Hey guys, and welcome to my first YouTube video. Uh, today we are going to be assembling a 3D printed fishing rod and reel that I found on Thingiverse. Uh, now I must stress, I did not make these designs, I simply printed them myself. Um, and if you are looking to print these yourself, for the major rod parts, the long ones here, I recommend you print these one at a time and do not try to do them all at the same time, as I ran into quite some build plate problems with these guys, especially this little one here, where it would knock off the build plate and it would throw away the whole print. So with that out of the way, the settings for these guys are 0% infill on 5 perimeter layers is what I went with, so it's basically solid anyways. Um, so we'll just get started by assembling the body of the reel here. Um, all the files will be linked uh, to the Thingiverse in the description below. So for the rod here, we have these main parts. We have these guys here, as well as these guys here. So the rod is, well, pretty straightforward to put together. You slide it in through the back, and then you put on this little spacer here. Now this part does not need to be glued in. It can pressure fit in more than well enough. If I can actually slide it in. It's worth noting I have not actually tested any of these parts. There we go. So as you can see, that's nice and tight in there. Then we slide the smaller part through both pieces. should slide out to the other end. So now that we've got that part together, we take the little tip here, it's got a little R on it, and it doesn't really matter where you line up the fishing line hole there, as it spins, so. Now this guy here will need to be glued on as it is very loose, so get your glue out. I have uh, the gel Gorilla Glue on me, it seems to work fine for PLA. Put a little bit of glue on it. Slide it on here. Now, it being super glue, this naturally will not take very long. Now, what we need to do is we need to slide this little guy that I had set to the side by accident. Slide this on first. Doesn't seem to matter which way it goes. Then slide your tightening ring on. Screw it over the bottom threads. And then onto the ones in the middle. And put the bottom cap on. Now the rod itself is pretty straightforward and it is actually already done. So now we're going to move on to the reel. Set this aside for now and we'll move on to the reel which has many many more components and requires some actual hardware which is listed in the Thingiverse description. Uh, I'm not actually using exactly what it specifies as I mean it's a 3D print you can make it work with pretty much whatever you want. Um, so first things first it's going to take the M5 bolt and slide it through the back here and now it is a very tight fit and I don't actually have a way of getting a wrench in there so I'm going to super glue that in place once again. So that I will be able to tighten on the lock nut later. Put a bit much on there, but it should be okay. So we're going to let that dry off to the side. While we move to the centerpiece. So now we have this little reel and knob here. We're going to put this piece on first. So we're going to take this little orange piece. You can see there's a spot where there's not quite a hole here. That's for putting a screw through. So we're going to grab my screwdriver here, which has the wrong Robertson bit in it. Just going to put it through the hole as this faces the outside. Screw that through. Get the little ways through, and then we're going to grab the thumb piece and the part that it actually screws into. And screw it on like this. 
Now, there is no actual guide online for either of these, and that's why I decided to do this. Maybe help people out that are struggling with a project they see online. They have the stuff to do it, but they can't quite figure it out. So if you guys have anything else you'd like to see done, let me know. So I'm having a little bit of struggle holding this in place, so I'm just going to grab my vice grips because I don't know where my pliers are. And then I still want to make sure that this thumb piece spins fairly freely. see this piece still spins freely for when you're reeling in. Now the, the two center pieces need to get glued together and pay attention as there is a little bit of a key on each side. So you want to put those together and slide it like this. Now once you have the key figured out, these as I mentioned as well need to get glued together. I'm going to put a little bit of glue around the inside of here. Should be enough. As I said, there's a key in it, so shouldn't be a huge deal. Now that that is glued together, we can move back to our little guy over here. The glue isn't quite dry on this, so I need to be careful. I'm actually going to set a little piece of masking tape down so I can continue to work here. Because I did get glue on the back of it, so I'm just going to tape that. So it doesn't get everywhere. So now, now we can set this guy down here and we take the main frame that we just glued together. This is where your line will actually be wound onto and set it down onto the reel like that. Um, actually, I forgot you need to put your washers in. He recommends three. I found that two will work fine for me. So I set those in there. That just kind of helps it spin freely. I put one more washer on, and then your lock nuts. Now, as you can see, my bolt is not quite dried in place, so I won't be able to tighten this quite yet. So for now, I'm going to let this dry. Um, basically, all that we have left to do is grab this little guy here, your thumb nut, and you want to take a lighter and heat it up. And once you get your lock nut tight, you just press fit it on, and that will melt in place over top. It's just cosmetic, you don't need to do that. And as well, is once we, now that we have the reel assembled and the fishing rod assembled, all we have to do to finish this project off is grab the reel, make sure that the open part faces the top, slide it into the little notch on the fishing rod here, just like any other fishing rod. Slide your little clamp on. Now you need to find this little orange piece I'm touching right now is not actually perfectly circular. There is a dent on one side. And that is what goes over the bottom of the reel. Tighten up the screw. It does slide a little bit for me. And then there you go. Your fishing rod is done. Now you might be wondering, what is the point of this? doesn't look like it's going to catch you any big jack or anything like that around anytime soon. And while that may be true, it is actually intended to be used as a fly fishing rod, hence the fly fishing reel, um, as well as it's very portable, so stick it in the backpack, it folds down real small. Um, good for hiking, things like that, if you just want to go up and catch some fish. Uh, now, that being said, I will be going up to the lake in about two weeks' time. And I do plan on taking two of these with me as I actually have another one done off camera as well. And so if I do actually catch anything on them, which hopefully I do, I will share you guys the results on if it snapped in half or if it actually works. But as I said, all that I really have to do is heat up this little black piece here and plop it onto the middle and then it will be done. So I'm going to call that the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have any suggestions for any other projects you'd like me to see me do, uh, any feedback, anything like that, I'm all ears. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you next time.